In this video, we're going to tackle computer accounts and groups. First, let's discuss what a computer account secure channel is. A secure channel is created when a user logs on to a domain using a username and password. After being verified in the domain using a computer's SID or security identity, username and password. And there are quite a few reasons for this secure channel to be broken. One of which is not logging in into a domain controller for about 30 days, passing the 30 day password reset which the domain does automatically. And this password can't be reset directly unlike the user accounts. Another thing that could break the secure channel is operating system reinstall because reinstalling the operating system creates a new SID for the computer which is how the Active Directory identifies an account. Another instance that might cause a secure channel to be broken is being out of sync with the domain controller for some reasons like corrupted data. You should avoid disjoining a computer from a domain then joining it to a work group and then join it again to the domain right away to fix the broken security channel because this method also creates a new SID for the computer and you could lose your group membership. Now to fix the broken secure channel, here are some things that you could do. One is to locate your computer in Active Directory Users and Computers, right click on the computer account, choose reset the computer, and then rejoin it to the domain by joining the computer to a work group, and then rejoining it again to the domain, and then restart the computer. The second method is to use the dsmod command in cmd or powershell. You need to enter dsmod computer then the Active Directory Distinguished Name, then hyphen reset, and after that, rejoin the computer to the domain again, then restart the computer. You could also rejoin a computer from the domain controller side. You could run CMD as an administrator, then execute this command, nltest forward slash server colon, then the name of the computer you want to reset, forward slash sc underscore reset, colon, then the name of the domain controller. The advantage of this method is that there is no need to restart the computer. The fourth method is for the local client. You can run cmd as an administrator, enter powershell, then execute this command, test, space, hyphen, computer secure channel, then hyphen repair. Now this is how a secure channel broken error looks like. Then let's move on to groups. The purpose of having group accounts is to collect similar user, computer, or group accounts. Either you collect them by department, region, or job description, and etc. You should note that users are part of the domain user security group by default upon creation, and computers are part of the domain computer security group upon computer account creation. You should also note that groups have no relationships with organizational units. There are two types of group accounts. One is the distribution, which is used for communication between group members and domain controllers. And the other one is the security group, which is used to assign permissions and policies to group members. Now let's move on to group scopes. There are four levels of the group scope. The first level is the local, for local computer rights and resource permissions, which may contain domain local from same domain but not domain controllers a global or universal from any domain in the forest, and globals from a trusted external domain. Groups under this level can only be used in local computers. The second level is the domain local. These are commonly used for domain rights and user permissions, and may contain domain local from the same domain, a global or universal from any domain in the forest, and global groups from a trusted external domain which is used in local domains only. The third one is the global level, which is used to collect users with similar characteristics like department or role, and for rights and resource permissions in the same or trusted forest. This level may contain other global groups from the same domain, and can be used in any domain in the forest or trusted forests. And the last one is the universal level. It has the same purpose as the local and global, but the membership is listed in the global catalog for accessible lookup. This level may contain users, computers, global groups, or universal groups from any domain in the forest, and can be used in any domain in the forest. Now it's easy to create groups in graphical user interface, but how about in PowerShell? This is how you do it. First is you should run PowerShell as an administrator, 
and then enter this command in a single line. New hyphen add group space hyphen name, then the name of the group hyphen SAM account name, and then the SAM account name, and then hyphen group category, in this case is security hyphen group scope, which is global for my case, and then the hyphen display name, then the display name, which is the same as the name of the group, then the path, and then the description, and press enter. Now in converting a group to another group scope, you should know that you can only convert the group to another group if there are no problems with the properties between the group types. For example, you won't be able to convert a universal group in one domain to a global group in another domain. I hope you learned much today and stay tuned for more videos. For more videos, check out this link right here.